Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So, we are on Riverlands Castle Siege Assault thing. Um, and well, just thought we'd have a little bit of a siege. I have got the Axe Raiders with me. Um, just finished getting them leveled out. Not really a, a review video on them, just thought I'd bring them with me because if this turns into a really amazing game, we may use it in the Axe Raiders review. <laughs> but we'll see, see how we get on. So yeah, no, just just a little bit of a, a little a sort of fingerprints of them. We'll just sort of see what they look like a little bit, see how we get on. Because I've only actually had a, a sort of a few games with them so far, so not really got to get in and sort of test them properly like we might normally. Um, so yeah, so we'll have a proper review video on them, you know, in a week or so. Um, anyway, let's see what's going on. Hopefully, we're going to get these towers in in a minute. Not really much I can do as a as a hero. One thing I guess we could talk about, which I meant to mention in a few other videos, is yeah, I do need to switch away from Glaive. It has suffered pretty heavily after the nerf it got at the start of the season. I've just not played that much in the times I have played. I've just been sort of focusing on the unit, so not really been too worried about it. But yeah, it, it, it has suffered quite a lot. There's really not a lot of point in being a full-strength Glaive anymore. They've, they've pretty well nerfed it into the ground. Might go back Poleaxe. Might go back Pike. Um, I've been playing medium armor for a fair while now. Um, obviously doing all the pike before in season eight, so yeah, thinking about going back to the pole axe. Um, I don't really like short sword or long sword, even though you know particularly short sword is obviously still very very good. So yeah, I think I think pole axe is probably where we're going to be going, but we shall see. Anyway, looks like we've got our battering ram in, so let's just see what they've got on the other side of the gate. You can sometimes kind of clip. Th oh, I think there was some pikes there, was there? Can sort of pan your camera a little bit through the gates. Yes, nice unit of four to brush shoes. Is that the only unit? Oh no! Oh, pikes! Run, 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 run! <laughs> oh god! Okay. Yep. Let's not go that way then. There's quite a lot of crap there. A little bit too much crap there for me, I think. Um. <laughs> oh god, that would have been embarrassing, wouldn't it? Stood there looking at a gateway, get charged by a unit of prefetcher pikes. Although they actually got quite nerfed, didn't they, recently? Um, to their overall charge damage versus heroes. Um, yeah, it's not really working for me. These fourth to brush are a little bit of a pain, and they're now counter charging us with uh, Grey Hair Garrison. Uh, this is where Polax would be so much more tanky. I've got to really be careful because it'd be so easy for me to get killed super quickly here. Quickly, the amount of stuff charging in, the amount of sort of projectiles moving around. I want to sort of try and clip in on the edges where I can, but well, I've only got a third of my hit points left. It seems like a sure way to die. Hmm. Let's pull back and heal up a little bit. Um, are we going to make... I mean, this team, team's still pushing here. I mean, it's nice to see a team push hard on this, uh, this, the, you know, this top sort of gateway section. It's always everyone is normally waiting for everyone else to go. Oh, nice. We're actually through... And they're through on the other side. Okay. Nice. That's good. So a good start to the game, that is. Um, what are we going to need? Just a, just a maul? I suppose I should go and get a unit then, really, shouldn't I? Not really contributing a lot with no unit. Don't think I did a lot with the Martellatory either. I suppose we could pull out the Axe Raiders, I suppose. So far, I've, I've kind of been playing them a little bit like... A little bit like a unit of Berserkers. You know, they kind of... Um, I know they don't have a... A, a berserk mode, but when you sort of throw the axes with them, the, the axe throw isn't super effective, I don't find. I mean, it's damaging, it's nice, but it's not like javelin effective. So I often find you tend to sort of get close, use the axes, and then get stuck into some melee. As long as it's not a too big a fight. I mean, these guys do have like 13, 14,000 hit points, something like that. So they are pretty tanky. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. Um, I think we'll go down to... Oh, combos. Okay, yep. Don't mind if I do. Is there a hero with them? Uh, oh, Drew Blades. Okay, let's get the unit in. Go for our double axes. I mean, you get, you get some hits. Oh, not a particularly good throw. Let's just charge him. But, you know, we're starting to get kills. They do okay in melee, I find. And their melee sort of damage is really not too bad. And with the sort of double axes, maybe it's just visually what they look like berserkers that makes me think they're like that. But anyway, let's um, push down and onto the A point then. Uh, we've got some Azaps, friendly Azaps moving in. Still got that fourth Brescia covering the gateway. Well, they're screwed. You should have moved far quicker. Let's throw some axes in. 
<laughs> it does do a chunk of damage, actually, in that case, doesn't it? Oh, a few 40s in the corner. I'll have them. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, are they going to push on top? Can you go away? Thank you. Um, do, 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 do. Are they going to push point? Or not? No, if they're not, then I'm not going to do a super long range axe throw. Oh, this looks like javelin cavalry. Always a pain in the arse. Uh, will that reach? No. <laughs> God damn it. Um, oh, paladins. Okay, well. Oh, no, I didn't really want you to double axe over that way. I wanted you to go for the paladins, but there we go. Should we charge? Come on. Oh, nice. I like how the charge passes through units that they then attack from behind. Particularly a unit like Paladins, which has a very strong active block and a weakness to the rear. Oh, look at that. It cuts to 50 kills already. Nice. That's where I think this unit does well. The fact they pass through on the charge like that. That's really nice. Okay, particularly nice on Paladins. guess it could be quite nice on Stalwarts as well if it works like that. You know, I guess if they're in a line and you could sort of pass through the whole block, that would be pretty handy. Um, yeah, okay, well, let's wait for this to charge back up. I think we'll just go up the front way. I don't really like the back staircase. I find it just too much of a grind. It's too easy just for the enemy to set up a, a unit of hussars to just charge clean down the staircase. So it always tends to go badly for me. Uh, not that this front one's necessarily going to go any better. But let's start to push up this way. Uh, what have we got? We've got some Arbigas. Uh, friendly spear, for a pike even. Um, oh, friendly spear at the front. Uh, oh, cheeky musket. We'll have a look. Oh, no, down we go. <laughs> Going in a circle. Oh, now it's Cal chopped me. Lovely. Looking like a pro there, Evo, as usual. Um, some Madau. I don't really want to go toe to toe with the Madau. Madau are in a very good place, still in a very good place at the moment. They haven't really been heavily nerfed. Lovely unit. I love using them. I've got some with me uh, in the loadout at the moment. Uh, I mean, I'll throw axes at them, I suppose. We can double throw if we get close enough. Doink, 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 doink. Uh, but I don't want to go toe to toe. Ah, cavalry. Oh, that's not so good. Okay, let's throw and charge. Throw and charge. Get carrying it clear because then I've got the medal coming behind. Uh, well, we relatively got away with that. We've still got. 14 left alive, which is nice. Um, I guess we're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Madao, though, now. Let's go in, throw our axes. God. Got quite a few bit of stuff in front of us, so we should help us. Some palace guards. Oof. It's quite damaging. Go for a final throw. Come on. Nice. Okay. Well, that's not on too badly. Clear through the Madao. Let's get up to the point. Oh. Is there no more enemies? Oh. oh well, that was a nice... <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of expecting a bit more than that. Didn't get the condos out, didn't get the medal out. Well, that was a, a, a fairly easy game, but nice, I'll take it. Um, the little actuators didn't do too badly for themselves. They're a, they're a relatively enjoyable unit, so hopefully we'll get to see a little bit more of them going forwards. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you guys all on the next video.